Yeah, dude. Let me just see what this. So we got skunked again. Come on, bro. You should know that I'm starting to fool myself. It's terrible. It's tiny. Oh. So we drove uh, three hours for nothing. Thanks, boys. We need time, bro. <laughs> so we drove uh, an hour and a half less than this guy. <laughs> So recently I've been getting a lot of questions about nutrition. What I found really works for me is eating healthy. In order to do so, you've got to make sure that you get the right things at the right time. Eating certain meals and eating good food that's going to help nourish your body as well as give you a lot of energy is definitely key. It's all about eating the right calories to match exactly what you have used during the day and that way to keep a healthy weight and keep your weight the same. Tonight I'm going to show you exactly what I eat for dinner. It's a mix of vegetables as well as some lean meat and that meat is chicken. Um, I choose to eat sweet potatoes just because it's a slower releasing carb rather than white potatoes which is a little bit quicker. All the food that I'm eating tonight is there, there's reasons why I eat them and I'm just going to show you I just bake them very easily, put some olive oil on top, some pepper, salt and a little bit of herbs and that's it. When it comes to the chicken, I'm slice the breast in half and just um, cook it like that. But. Okay, so I want to touch on a couple topics that we've spoken about. Obviously, nutrition is quite a broad subject, but I'm going to just explain to you why I eat what I eat. Um, and I'm going to go through three main points, and that's the carbohydrate, the proteins, the fats. Each one of these is going to be broken down a bit further. First of all, we're going to speak about carbohydrates, and there's two types of carbohydrates. There's the complex carbohydrates, which are the slow-releasing energy carbohydrates. These carbohydrates keep you fuller for longer. And they are the carbohydrates such as sweet potatoes, vegetables, whole grains, rye bread. So this helps you to avoid crashing. Okay, so simple carbs such as fruit, dried fruit, white rice, and white potatoes. This contains sugars which spikes your glucose levels. This would help because during training, your glycogen levels are lost through your muscles. And putting these simple carbs back into your body would help to spike your glycogen levels back to where you want them. I would prefer to eat these straight after training or after a surf in order to get those levels back to where they need to be. Next, we have protein. Protein really helps to keep you full and to give you the nutrients that are not found in most other foods. These would then give you the energy that you need to build muscle on top of helping to fuel the muscles when you are training. And lastly is your fats. These are essential in any diet, specifically the omega-3s. And the reason for these fats is it's good for your digestive system, it regulates your hormones, and it improves your immune system. These are the fats 
that come from flax seeds, nuts, coconut oil, as well as chia seeds. Now, you've seen me eating these in the past. You might think to yourself, why was I eating them? That's because chia seeds definitely hold a lot of fat, more, than, more fat than they do protein. And this helps to sustain me and keep me full for a longer period of time. I choose to eat like this because it's a healthy way to eat and a healthy way to live. During traveling, it also gets really busy and it's quite intense when it comes to that side of things. So keeping the, this nutrition on lock, eating healthy is key to not getting sick, especially when we're on tour. These foods really help to fuel my workouts and to help me sustain a good level of energy throughout my surfing as well as training just to keep energy levels regulated throughout the day. This is how I choose to eat. If you have any other questions, please drop me a message down below. And So it's Sunday afternoon, just received a new board. I'm super excited about this. This is the one I'm gonna be taking to South America on the next trip uh, in the next three weeks. So super thankful for Sniper for sending this through. It was an urgent post. Left France on the 17th and it is now the 22nd and it has just arrived. Now five days to send this board is unbelievable. Thanks very much Sniper. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got here. I've got the Ulmeri Laverne ISS version of his board. Um, I'm still waiting for my customs to come through and it might be a, bit, a little bit late. So we just got this board in case and the specs are the 42 inch polypro board. Um, it's got the ISS stringer in it, just a single stringer, and, uh, no mesh on the board. So it looks really, really nice. I'm really excited to try it out. Super similar to the board that I'm riding at the moment. Um, the only difference is the color of the bottom. I'm really amped to just get this out of the plastic and ride it hopefully sometime this week. Mm -hmm. 